As we watch this, I want to point out that we learned today that the uh, family of Martin Luther King, and we cannot forget that this is not only Inauguration Day, but also Martin Luther King Day, so historically doubly resonant. Uh, they asked uh, Justice Roberts and President Obama to sign the MLK Bible, with which well, it was one of two Bibles that uh, the president was sworn in on. He was sworn in on uh, the Lincoln Bible, which he used in 2009, and also what's known as the Martin Luther King Traveling Bible, the Bible that uh, Martin Luther King took with him on the road when he traveled. Um, so the King family has asked that, that both men sign that Bible. So obviously this is a hugely important day to that family that has already had a massive dose of history. Uh, Steve Ozensami, an ABC News correspondent, spoke um, with Martin Luther King's youngest daughter recently. And uh, I believe we have a clip of, of what she had to say. Take a listen. You are the daughter of a man who is so important to so many people. How is it bearing that legacy? How do you carry that? Anything to compare it to, because this is all I've ever known. I've, I've always been my dad and my mom's child, and I grew up with this experience of my father being taken from us and trying to evolve to a place where I fully understood that. So it wasn't really until probably around the age of 16 where I even grasped the significance of who he was. Did you ever feel like you couldn't make a mistake? Uh, yeah, that's probably one of the perfectionists today. <laughs> the level of self-criticism is extremely high. Even people who say we don't represent the legacy well. They're not like mom and dad. Well, I'm not supposed to be, I'm Bernice. That kind of pressure and those expectations uh, you know, make, make you almost become the kind of person that God, if I make a mistake, you know, it's monumental. <laughs> Tell me about the Bible that the president is going to use to swear in. Well, it's a 59-year-old Bible, at least we know that. It's at least 59 years old because inside of it, my father has several markings of dates. During the inauguration, when you see the president put his hand on that Bible, what will it mean for you personally? Well, I mean, as, as a minister, it's very special to me because I always want people to remember that my father was first and foremost a minister. He was a pastor. In fact, he always said he just wanted to be a great pastor. And I think he was an exemplary pastor, not just of a church, but perhaps of a nation and that the, the, the leader of the free world has asked to use it in his inauguration, very symbolic, the importance of connecting uh, with that legacy and the, the inspiration of that legacy. Does the fact that this inauguration is taking place on the King holiday have extra significance to you? The fact that there is the, the collision of those dates in this 50th anniversary year is an affirmation of the, that movement and that it was not in vain, um, that that movement is critical to this nation. We still have a long way to go, but we're celebrating so much progress that we have made. Thank God Almighty, 